All right, kids, here is a little how-to video that uh, I thought warranted some update, um, being that I found a couple helpful videos on YouTube already that encompass the same idea, but uh, not quite to the same level uh, that this one is. Not saying that this one's exactly intricate, but um, there was a little bit of guesswork that I had to do to, to fix my USB external hard drive from... Uh, your traditional USB plug to what they call a SATA plug or sometimes a SATA drive. Um, what had actually happened to me was I transferred about 75 gigs of personal videos and movies and uh, pictures onto this hard drive off my laptop and two days later I went to go put some more stuff on there and I went to plug it in and uh, you'll see that uh, on the cord that was provided, this particular style of plug, I plugged it into what you see in my hand here, obviously no longer attached to a circuit card, which temporarily rendered my hard drive absolutely worthless and useless. So in a panic, I got a hold of Seagate, which is who makes this particular drive. This one by the way, is the Seagate Free Agent Go, and this one I believe was the 250 gigabyte. Uh, size doesn't really matter in this case, um, but this is. I'm, I'm just going to show you a rundown of what I did and what I had to purchase to get it to work back to uh, regular functionality. And uh, you might have noticed that this part has already opened up, um, just for. Uh, imagination's sake, pretend that that side had a, a similar plastic cover like this with just one hole that was big enough to facilitate this plug. Uh, so uh, I'll get that started. Upon me getting a hold of Seagate about my broken hard drive, uh, they said I can go a couple different routes. I could either get a hold of the warranty people, have my hard drive sent in being that it was still under the five-year warranty and they would replace it for free um, but I couldn't do that because otherwise I'd be losing my 75 gigs of information pictures and uh, videos that would be otherwise unrecoverable and uh, irreplaceable or I could convert my USB drive to a SATA drive via a SATA cable kit and uh, I was pretty ignorant uh, however lucky that I got the the kit that I did I thought all I needed was this, which is the IDE SATA to USB cable. Um, but I got on eBay for literally like $7. Everything you see right here, which is all, uh, all it includes is the USB to IDE SATA cable adapter, the SATA Dable cable, uh, the AC adapter, which is just like your typical uh, laptop power cord, uh, IDE power converter, and the uh, IDE to SATA power cable, which is everything here I actually ended up having to use in order to power up my drive with my laptop. Um, unlike the drive itself and its supplied power cable, I needed an actual AC power cable for it, um, for reasons that I know nothing about. Um, but keep in mind, this may be what you need to get. And... Uh, I'll go into the next part after I show you this. Now you see it. I'll show you what I did to crack into the box here and get this thing working again. Okay, again, uh, just pretending that on this half of the drive was an identical but opposite plastic cover on it with the one hole for the USB. You want to take that off first. I already did. Uh, it's not with me, otherwise I'd be able to show you, but it's it's like that, but facing this way. Take that off, and then you'll need uh, either a flathead screwdriver. Um, I used a knife. I don't recommend that, um, but use something that can be used to pry the two halves of the plastic apart from each other. Uh, there's clips on both sides of the box. You just need to unclip those. When you do that, see the clips on both sides and they go on both sides of here top half is literally just a piece of molded plastic 
uh, don't need it, set it aside, use it as a tray or whatever. And uh, you'll immediately see that there's a hard drive right there. Uh, the hard drive itself is not even stuck into the other part of the box. It does have these rubber feet. Um, but that's it. There's, there's nothing screwed into the box. It just basically sits there. So you got the bottom half of the box, more molded plastic, set it aside. Don't need it. All right. Now you've got, in my case, I've got the light, which uh, has the one, co one cord, one connector, and it plugs into this little white box here, this little plug. Just unplug it. There's nothing, there's no clips, there's nothing really holding it in. It's just like unplugging something from a wall. Just pull it out. And uh, in this case, for me, it's no longer useful because it plugs into this circuit card, which needs to be removed. And it's held in by two small screws, the Phillips head screws. They're not in there very tight, so you don't need, uh, you don't need a whole lot of force to undo those. Undo both of those. Now remove the card. It's just a plug. Grab either side and unplug it. Now, uh, in my case, this particular drive, I cannot figure out if there was any other purpose for this card other than lighting up this light because um, none of my SATA cables plug into this. That's why I needed to take it off. So if you're like me, just set it aside. No longer useful. Now you've got what, uh, what little guesswork was for me. Taking that card off now exposes both of my plugs that I need for my SATA cables. In this part, you can just temporarily set your drive aside and assemble your SATA cables, which uh, is pretty monkey proof. It's pretty much just fitting slot A to slot B and uh, fitting the, uh, the like shapes together. Here's my ID SATA to USB cable. It's got a little, little plug here. Here's my SATA cable. Looks like little skinny L's. Plug one in. Snaps in. There's one connection. You got your uh, your ACD box, or excuse me, AC adapter box, which is just like your laptop box. You plug that in with your power cord. There's your other end of the power cord. On the other end of this cord, you find the piece that matches in shape. Plug those in together. There's another connection. Now, Basically, you're all connected as far as your loose pieces. Get your drive back, and you're continuing you're continue on uh, matching the shapes. You can see it's a long, skinny L. Find your long, skinny L up here. Plug it in. There's one. Don't force anything. It's not that hard. Get your SATA cable. Another skinny L. Find your skinny L up here. Match up the shape and size plug it in and that's that let's pretend I'm plugging this in for this demonstration I'm not going to because I don't feel it's absolutely necessary to plug it in I'm just gonna set that aside and pretend SATA cable connected to your USB cable plugged it into your laptop or computer and there you go you're plugged in in my case I had to restart my laptop twice because when my USB plug failed initially, it uh, it caused some error where um, it basically said that I needed to get a new drive. Well, here's my new drive. Restarted my laptop twice, and since then it has been working 100% A-OK. -okay. Um, the only thing is that uh, it's no longer powered exclusively through the laptop. I needed the AC adapter plug. so. That's the probably the biggest drawback is I have to have it plugged into a wall. And also, I don't get to use my fancy flashing light anymore um, because I can't plug this part in anywhere. Uh, I can probably get an adapter piece to find something that plugs into here, but it's not worth my time or money or effort. Now, that's basically it. Uh, you can put your, your hard drive back in the plastic box because these cables will stick out the empty end of where you took out that... Uh, this piece of plastic is now open, so you can put it back in the protective box and uh, ready to rock and roll. And uh, just for uh, just for grins, I'm going to go ahead and put that back together so you can see it firsthand. All right, as promised, there it is. Same hard drive, 
There's the light end, it no longer works. SATA plug is plugged in. Everything seems to be fully intact, minus the other circuit card. Still useless. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's now a SATA drive. And I don't know if I'm just being hypercritical or if this is uh, one of the, uh, the benefits of it. Maybe not. But it seems to be running faster going through the SATA cables than it was straight USB cord. Uh, any techies out there look into that, feel free, let me know. Um, but as far as I can see, it definitely seems like it moves faster. That's, uh, again, not what I was really aiming for anyways, just a benefit of getting my drive back up and running like I hoped it would. Uh, any questions, feel free to write. Uh, I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, good luck with your fix.